it's, it's funny because when I came in to Babson this year, my goal was actually just to place all ECAC. And so even before graduation, two days before was the ECAC meet where I achieved that goal. So that was enough for me when I first got, you know, the all ECAC title, I came in third. I would, you know, that's what I came into this season looking for. We knew there was a shot at something, but, you know, all the adrenaline and all the, you know, emotions tied with that were just there. Of course, you wake up the next morning, and now, you know, it's like 8 a.m., you're putting on a tassel and a hat, and you got to go walk across the stage. So there was the emotional rust there. And then I see my family for the first time since, you know, what, like six, seven months now. My grandmother had come up and everything like that, too. And we go out to eat and all my friends, and now, you know, I'm saying goodbye to my friends for what I think is, you know, one of the last times. And by that time, you know, getting home now, I traveled back on a plane, it's like 10, 11 p.m. And uh, I had, I had kind of talked to my coach and I was saying, you know, Coach, coach Brennan, I was saying, I'm going to wake up before you, I'm going to find out. I'm gonna and meanwhile, I'm sound asleep in the morning because, you know, all this, you know, the ECAC, the graduation, I wasn't waking up at all, you know. So I wake up to a call from Coach Brennan and it didn't hit me because I actually don't save numbers on my phone, so it was just his number. 617 and I realized I said oh my god it's coach Brennan and I was like what's gonna what is he gonna say and then he had told me that I had made it and uh, I jumped up and down for a little bit I <laughs> added a little motion rush uh, my brother said I ran faster than I've ever ran before <laughs> it was where you see me I ran right outside <laughs> give a big chant because it was you know I was I was coming into the season just to I, I had never before that taken all ACAC I, I barely got all regional the year before so to make all the ACC was great. The other, you know, thought the glimpse of going to nationals wasn't even there. Um, and I'm, I'm big on data, so you know, I had done all the analysis on who gets in. And every year, in other events, you know, they might go 26, 27 deep. Um, sometimes they go 35 deep. You know, in the rankings, the decathlon has been notorious for being 20 deep always, uh, because you know it, it's 10 events. You put so much work into it. A lot of the people are seniors at that point. It's their first time they'll go because it takes a lot of progression to actually get there. And this year they went 23. And uh, funny enough, the person behind me was actually one point behind me, which is uh, not even a half a second, not even a lean. Uh, you know, it's the guy in the long jump pit, maybe, maybe putting it in, you know, a, 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 the wrong spot or, or just, just slightly there. So it, it was an amazing feeling. It really was. It's a real testament to the coaching staff uh, that we had this year. Um, Coach Brennan himself walking us through. Uh, I don't know if Coach Brennan told on his in interview, but um, he actually had this planned out. I, I couldn't tell you this would ever happen, but he had a piece of paper he showed me a couple days ago with the almost exact numbers uh, leading up to this uh, and how it would work out. You know, these three events we'd focus on this year, the next three events we'd focus on. I mean, it just all happened. I never knew there was a strategy behind it. And so when I came in as a first year, I'll kind of just you know, walk you through. When I came in as a first year, um, I actually did cross country, uh, so we got the distance legs up and, and whatnot. And then I did track, and we really just got the idea of event management down. So me and Coach Brennan think one of the most important parts of the DCAT is to be able to do an event, because there's 10 events that you go through, to do an event, and no matter what happens, whether it's good, bad, or ugly, to go on to the next event and forget what happened, to really just have really short-term memory. I'll give you an example real quick. So. Uh, in the regional meet, where I actually got my 61.59 score, which was the score that got me in just by you know, you know one, one or two points, we actually did not have our best day uh, going to the first two events. Um, I missed my PR in the 100 by like 0.2 seconds, which is equivalent to like 80 points, which is, a, which is a lot. And in the long jump, I missed my PR by another 0.2 meters, so that was another like 30 points. We were about 100 points behind within the first two events. And the struggle with the DCAT is, you know, you go into the next event 30 minutes later, so how do you forget about what just happened that, you know, you might not be on pace, that it's not happening for you, and get to the next event? And uh, he really taught me, you know, very strongly that it's short-term memory. You go to the next event, you smile, you relax, you just go in and you say, how good can I do in this event, not what happened in that event. So I think we really learned that. Even soft skills really apply, you know, in the decals. We really learned that, and we also learned, funny enough, that you need to eat sandwiches in between <laughs> because you really need to get those, to get that hydration back in, and get that, and get that food energy source back in. So it was really more soft skills. Obviously, we did improve, and, and we, you know, did some events. But the real core of the work came from sophomore year, where I had uh, two two new coaches. Us, so we had some sprinting coaches then. Um, I had a hurling coach, so I, I excelled a lot in hurdles, made leaps and bounds in hurdles. Uh, I was like an 18 flat runner to like a 16 something runner, 16 8. 
Um, and uh, I also did. I also improved a ton of my sprinting events. So my distance legs came from my my first year. Sprinting events came from the second year. And then the field events, we had four new coaches this year uh, who all specialized in, in those different in those different fields. And so my, my my throwing work, my jumping work, my pole vaulting work, all came from from this year. Real specialization, and I made leaps and bounds with that. And I think you know, kind of taking that base knowledge, the soft skills, the working through the events, positive attitude, distance sprinting, and then specialization. We set it up to, to really make sure it worked. I mean, he had the plan. I just didn't know about it the whole time.